Well, today we begin a brand new year, so Happy New Year to all of us. We begin the liturgical year of the church. And we stand in the liturgical year, we follow the footsteps of Jesus, and um, the whole life and teaching are before us from now until the next year. And we revisit the mysteries, expectations, Advent, the birth of Jesus, Christmas, his life, death, Good Friday, resurrection, Easter, the ascension into heaven, and the sending of the Holy Spirit. So throughout the year, the whole story will relive. And But we've heard the story many times before. It's not new to us, but we have to consider it new. And uh, not like playing an old video, we have to be excited by it because we are really part of the story. The mysteries of Christ's life is represented in such a way that we're drawn to them. We are participants in them. And um, it's more exciting and more demanding too. It's not just God of the past, but God of the present and the future. So we want to, this liturgical year, hear Christ better. The story of Jesus, hear it better, understand it, and make it more of our own. And we also include our own stories in this. Now, speaking of anticipation and expectation and waiting, um, the prophet Jeremiah in the Old Testament seemed to be very unpopular. He was telling people how to live, how to be righteous, how not to sin. And when his friends were uh, um, saying how great the country was, he said, well, there's some flaws we have. When everyone was praising the president administration, he said, we have to have some balance. So he couldn't keep his mouth shut and um, the people didn't like it. And it cost him dearly. He was, uh, he was banished from the priesthood for a time. He was physically beat up, humiliated, but he couldn't keep quiet. Could have had a nice life, but he had a voice inside of him would not let him be alone. He had to say what was going to happen to the countrymen if they continued in their bad ways. He warned them of their greed and their disobedience and their disregard of right living and the corruption. They didn't pay attention to him. They didn't listen to the Lord. And um, then God forsook them. They were besieged. They were overtaken. And now Jeremiah the prophet Instead of saying, I told you so, said, no, we need hope. We need a promise. And Jeremiah was announcing the coming of Jesus. He didn't really know exactly how it would be fulfilled, but he knew Jesus was coming, the Messiah was coming. Now, it took 600 years from the time of Jeremiah to the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. But the days are coming. And the days are coming also for Jesus again. Will it be tomorrow or next month or next year? Who knows? Will there be a lot of heartaches and headaches? Oh yes, this is life, a lot of anxieties, but the days are coming. And that's what Advent is all about. The days are coming for the Messiah, for Jesus. And we wait. Now, how do we wait? You gotta be watchful, we have to be in prayer. One of the hard things about prayer isn't so much the prayer, is finding the time to do it, to take the time to pray. Now we have coming up uh, with the bishop on Monday, uh, a great Advent re re reflection uh, about Advent and so on, and prayer and watchfulness, and it's good for us to take the time to be there during this Advent prepare. Now we've all heard stories time and time again of somebody their house burns down and people are people are, are killed and burned in the fire. In this particular report that I saw, the man, the household who owned the home and his family said he was going to buy that smoke detector a couple of weeks ago, but he kept putting it off. If only he had the smoke detector, maybe the fire could they could have gotten out of the fire. He didn't do it. It's the same thing with us. We put it off. We don't do it. There are lots of times of mothers who want to know their daughters better, but they don't do it to take the time. Or fathers want to get better along with their sons, but they don't do it. They put it off for some reason or the other. Or husband and wives want to have a better relationship. 
deepen their relationship. They put it off for some reason or other. That's the tendency we have as human beings. By putting it off, we miss opportunities. The man missed the opportunity for the smoke detector. Could have saved some lives. So um, there are a lot of things we ought to do, but we don't do. We're warned. Be on guard. The great day is coming. Don't let us catch us like a trap. Be on the watch. Pray constantly. Be ready for the important moment. And, um, well, we have to get involved. We have to think about this life, of course. But we also have to think about the next life. What's more important? A few years here or eternity? Be on God, watch, and pray. Advent means coming. So, Jesus comes, of course, 2,000 years ago. And um, we look forward to the future. We also have to realize, of course, there was a past. And um, the coming of the Messiah is here. We anticipate Jesus' final coming again. We've got to make ourselves ready for the world. So, there's a new beginning. This is a new year for us. The first Sunday of the church year. And we have the mysteries of the faith, as we said, throughout the liturgical year as we go on. And the next four weeks are Christmas preparations. Now, the liturgies of the next four weeks will recall to our mind the longing of Israel for its Savior. How long they waited. We ask to be entered in the spirit of longing for Jesus. Now, it doesn't mean they didn't come. Of course he came, and we have to recognize Jesus already among us. But we also have to recognize among us there's some other things. There's an emptiness in our hearts. Sometimes we find happiness. Sometimes there's sadness. We find goodness. We find evil. We find trustfulness. We find fear. We find generosity and selfishness side by side. We find peace, but we also find a lot of anxieties day by day. And of course, there's a plenty of anxieties, just like the pandemic and the new virus and all this kind of stuff that's come along. Well, happiness and goodness, trustfulness, generosity, and peace are signs that Jesus is present with us now. But sadness and evil and fear and selfishness and anxiety makes us long for his coming fully. So, the gospel today tells us we got to be ready. It's obvious. Just uh, be vigilant. Your redemption is at hand. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming. We recognize Jesus coming by the fact that we find some goodness. And there's lots of goodness among us here. There's lots of goodness in the world. Goodness is impossible without God. Jesus is here. We find Jesus in the generosity of people. His presence is in the generosity. We don't have generosity without God. We know he's here because of the peace that we experience. Every time we do something good, every time we love, every time it's Jesus is here with us. All goodness comes from God. So the question we have today. Will there be a Christmas to celebrate this year, or will we really only remember the Christmas of 2,000 years ago? Will it be a Christmas to celebrate, or just a remembrance? The answer to the question depends on us. It depends on you and me. During this Advent, we don't prepare for Christmas. We prepare a Christmas for ourselves. We prepare a Christmas for ourselves by our goodness, by our love, by our generosity, by our help, by allowing Jesus into our lives, by our prayer, by going to a day of reflection, by doing special things. If we allow Jesus to direct our lives and our attitudes, towards one another, we'll have a wonderful Christmas to celebrate. If we let Jesus direct us, we'll have a great Christmas. If, on the other hand, we're selfish, we're greedy, we're mean, we're fearful still, we won't have a good Christmas, and neither will anybody else. See, the task really is up to us. The days are coming when I fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel in Judea. And is coming. The Lord spoke, was, that was spoken about Jesus. 
And the same words are also spoken about us. So now we can start on this new year. I said earlier, oh boy, first of all, we had Halloween, then All Saints Day, All Souls Day, Thanksgiving, next day is Christmas, and now New Year's already. It goes by so fast, but we have the time. We're watchful, we're prayerful, uh, we are ready to stand before the Son of Man, and we will have a great Christmas to celebrate if indeed we put Jesus in our lives. Well, God bless you all very much for listening. Thank you a lot. Happy Advent. And Alva, please stand. We'll have our creed. <laughs>